boys and girls. It's Miss Barton here. Um, and this is for all grades, even my eighth graders. My college professor gave this to me when I graduated from college. So, oh, the places you will go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head and you have feet in your shoes. You, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your way. You're on your way and you know where you know what you know and you can be the guy or gal who decides where to go. You'll look up and down the streets. You'll look them over with care. About some you will say, hmm, I choose not to go there. With your head full of your brains and your shoes full of your feet, you'll you're too smart to go down any of those not so good streets. And you may not find any you'll want to go down at all. And that, if that's the case, you'll head straight out of town. Ooh, it's open. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just do right along, just go right along, and you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you will go. You'll be on your way up, you'll be seeing great sights, you'll join the high flyers, you'll soar high heights. That's you in the balloon. Eighth graders, you're leaving, I'm sad. You won't lag behind because you'll have your speed. You'll pass the whole gang. You'll, you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you'll be the top of the rest. As you go on your merry way. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, but sadly it's true, that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on and leave you in a lurch. That would be sad. I wouldn't want to be on a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump and you'll find chances are then that you'll be in a slump. So sad. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked, some windows are not lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and your chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or turn right? Or right? and three quarters, or maybe not quite, or go around back and sneak in behind. Simply it's not, I'm afraid you'll find, for a mind maker upper to make up their mind. You can get so confused, you'll start in a race, down long wingling roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space, headed, I fear, towards the, unmost, the most unpleasant place, the waiting room. No, not the waiting room. Don't we all hate the waiting room? Look, everybody's in the waiting room. For people just waiting, waiting for the train to go or a bus to come or a plane to go or mail to come or rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow or or waiting around just for yes or no or waiting for their hair to crow. Everyone is just waiting, waiting for the fish to bite, waiting for the wind to fly a kite, waiting around for Friday night, waiting perhaps for their Uncle J Jake, a pot to boil or a better break or a string of pearls or a pair of pants or a wig with curls or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that is not you. Somehow you'll escape all the waiting and staying. You'll find great places with big bands are playing because you love the music. Rock and roll, ACDC. Hey. 
With the banner flip flopping, once more you'll ride. Ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of guy or gal, right? Oh, the places you'll go. There is uh, fun to be done. There are places to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things can you can do with the ball will make you the winneringest winners of all. Fame, you'll be famous as famous can be with the whole wide world watching. You'll win a TV. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too, games you can't win, because you'll play against you, like Tiantre in badminton. But he really does a good job running back and forth. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something. You'll be quite done a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There are some down the road between the hither and yon that can scare you so much you won't want to go on. But you shall. You shall. I know you shall. Why? Because it's you. But on you will go through the weather, though the weather be foul. On you will go, though your enemies will prowl. On you will go, though the hacking cracks howl. Onward. Up many a frightening creek, though your arms may be sore and your sneakers may leak. I hate leaky shoes. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far and face, um, face up your problems, whatever they are, because you're a problem solver. Eighth graders, you get mixed up, of course, as you already know, You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with great care. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right shoe from your left. That can be scary. And you will succeed. Yes, you will indeed. Yes, you will. 98 three-fourths percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. This may be the mountain you will move. So, be your name Buxom or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai Ali Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So, get on your way. Have a great day. And if I don't see you eighth graders, I can't, I can't, I look forward to the places that you will go.